hello everyone welcome to this new video where i'm again trying to answer one of the subscribers question on how to model a bcc metal using the same subroutine for which i have made the video before so i will just start from where we stopped so we discussed about the single crystal fcc metals and that they have 12 slip systems in fcc metals where dislocations as you see in this video moves in 111 plane and along 110 directions as you see here so they look something like this so you will have 111 plane in 110 direction and in total you will have 12 slip systems and to define that in the subroutine if you remember the subroutine we need to define it in the input file this is the input file and we just tell the software that okay there are only one set of slip systems and the, that is plane is 111 and the direction is 110 so it automatically generates a slip system based on this combination and then we define the orientation and then we define the parameters for this family of slip system which includes the restrained rate sensitivity exponent and also the gamma dot naught in the theory which i discussed before for this family and also we need to define the hardening moduli or hardening coefficients for this one family of slip system now if we go back and if we look at if we look at the bcc crystal then it's pretty different because bcc is more complex in a way that you can have a total of 48 slip systems and these 48 slip systems belong to can belong to three different families so first family is where the plane is 110 while the direction is 111 the second family is one two three planes in one 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 direction and it could have 24 combinations and then finally you can have one one two plane and one 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 direction and again the combination will make up to 12 slip system so 12 plus 12 24 plus 24 48 slip system which are possible in a bcc crystal so now we have three families so we need to define three the material properties in the subroutine for three different families if you are really interested in identifying the parameters and how to define these material properties uh, in the context of crystal plasticity then these are some of my research papers and i would strongly recommend for example this paper where i presented an automatic identification procedure for single crystal niobium which is a bcc crystal and so i hope you will find useful if you don't have access to any of these papers then please do get in touch with me and i will i will i can i can try to send you a copy of that and you can always contact me through my website which is www.professor3mac.com let's get back to the input file so what we have to do now what we have to change it first thing is we need to change it to three because we can have three possibilities in the case of niobium by the way we only had two families because one two three slip systems didn't activate at room temperature so we only had two so you can also have two as well and you can define either one one two or one two three whatever is the possibility in your case if we go with three then it will define the same thing as we have done here so i will just copy paste this to have the same similar sort of syntax there and then the first slip family could be one 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 sorry one one zero or one 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 and then the second family will be one one two and one 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 direction as per the slides i showed you and the last family or third family would be one two three and one 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 direction so we don't need to worry about all 48 we just defined the family configuration in here so 110 type 112 type and 123 type all are in 111 direction and the code automatically generates all 48 48 combinations of slip system 12 12 and 24 slip system for each family and then we the orientation remains the same you already remember we need to define the local orientation with respect to the global system and now we have to define this n and gamma not value gamma not dot value for all slip system families so i'm just gonna copy paste this for the second family which is the second set 112 type and then the third set is 123 type 
and then, then we also have to define the material properties which are the hardening moduli hardening coefficients or hardening parameters for each family so in this case i'm going to do it for the same for this but again if you look at my papers we have to use all these families can have different slip systems so i've defined the hardening moduli and then i can do the same for the latent hardening parameters Here you go. And once you have done that, then all everything else is set. If you now run the uh, run the code as I did it in the previous video of mine, so then it will automatically consider everything to be BCC, and it will automatically generate these forty-eight slip systems, and it will run the simulation, assuming it to be a BCC crystal. So I hope this short video explains clearly on how to use the same. You match subroutine to still plus three subroutine for BCC material. Uh, there was one question about how to model HCP single crystals, and for that, uh, this code is not capable of doing it. So, we have written our own code for that, and I will definitely make a video on that in the near future. So, I hope you would definitely like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if possible, please support my channel by donating something because I am trying to upgrade my computer, which is currently struggling. So, Looking forward to some more interesting videos in future. Thank you very much and bye for now.